misunderstood yet terrifying enemy, PCE. In January of last year, the new El Pueblo Clinic opened to help provide medical care for people who may have been affected by the suspected cancer-causing chemical, a chemical that was discovered in the area's water supply. Recently, the facility celebrated its first anniversary. Lisa Conzi fills us in on this critically important clinic that, in addition to treating TCE-related health problems, also provides general health care to folks who otherwise couldn't afford it. This new, larger clinic, which was built with federal funds, is nearly triple the size of the old one. It has roughly 3,400 square feet. It also has triple the facilities. Whereas the old clinic had three examining rooms, two full-time nurses, and one full-time doctor, this one has 10 examining rooms, three full-time nurses, and three full-time doctors. Dmitry Katsaros is one of them. You have to realize that the people in this area are not very wealthy, and most of them, they don't carry any insurance. So this is a, um, a paradise, a, a lifesaver for these uh, folks, you know, who need uh, medical attention sometimes immediately, sometimes within the next two, three hours. On a busy day, the staff might see 90 patients, half of them children, like Raquel Bryant's five. They were here today for immunizations. Raquel's been coming here for more than six years, through all five of her pregnancies and the delivery of each child. El Pueblo has been invaluable to her. Because it's convenient, it's close to my home, and it's easy to, you know, it's just the doctors are really good, basically, and it's inexpensive, you know, with access and everything, you know, it's not hard to find, you know, this place, you know, I recommend this place to a lot of my friends and everything. Studies have shown El Pueblo lies in what's known as a poverty corridor, where the average median income runs about 25% lower than the rest of the city, and where there are fewer services available. With that in mind, El Pueblo has found at least three different categories of people who need their help here. The first they call the Notch Group. Of the people that are affected down in this area, there's approximately 16,000, they feel, that... Uh, uh, are not covered by access, but do not really make enough money to be able to, be able to afford uh, medical services from doctors, uh, normal doctors. So they come here to the clinic where we charge by uh, a sliding fee scale and uh, charge according to their income. Another group targeted by El Pueblo, the medically indigent. A lot of them tend to be those who, who cannot qualify for access because of some other reason but who may normally be able to qualify uh, given their income. So these are the, the, the poorest of our economy who, who still cannot get into uh, the access program for one reason or another. This woman is in the third group El Pueblo tries to reach, those whose illnesses might be related to TCE, trichloroethylene, which was in the water Southside residents were drinking until 1981 when the tainted wells were capped. The TCE program is a, a county program that uh, the Board of Supervisors allocated $250,000 to address, specifically address the health needs of these people who have lived in this area and have been the most uh, consistently and copiously affected by the TCE that's been in the water. The TCE program is less than a year old. It's just one of several components of this clinic. There is also a family practice department, a pediatrics department, and a recently added OBGYN department. As the funding becomes available, there are even bigger plans, like the addition of x-ray equipment, a pharmacy, a full-sized lab. But for now, everyone's just so happy for this. Last year, El Pueblo treated 15,000 patients. With these brand spanking new facilities, they hope they can now serve the needs of many, many more. Again, the clinic is located at 101 West Irvington. For more information about its services, call 573-0096.